So, so that, oh, okay. who's gonna talk? Go for it. I was doing this, so yeah, I figured, go, go you know. For it. I don't actually know where we left off, but the sprocket is now mounted to the hub <clears throat> and on the axle. Uh, we're just kind of mocking up the chain and it looks like we're gonna have to do some sort of tensioner here, uh, which we kind of figured anyway. So that'll end up being a pretty decent spot for one. It'll keep it off this cross member of the engine. It also allows for adjustment. Right, which we figured we would need because we really, as far as the axle goes, we can't really adjust that any more than a quarter inch, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> something like that. And of course we have a master link that we could use, um, of course, on the chain. Got a couple of these just in case. Progress. Progress. Step 35 of 3,986. So counting. I'd rather film you. Looks like a good time over there. Yeah. This is what our wiring looks like. There's some tacks and some speedometers over there. There is a lot of junk. And there's the ignition station system back here somewhere. Well, half there and half on the engine itself. Bench time. Brad is being so kind as to start disassembling our wiring harness from the motorcycle over here. Yep. This here is our speedo cable. Of course mechanical, the bike is from the 80s. It's certainly possible we might be able to find a different gear or something around here to adapt of the gearing that's now on the golf cart. Not sure though, maybe. Probably. Yeah, that's all one piece. I see that. So we're kind of stuck with the, uh, are you still filming? I am, you're gonna talk louder though. <clears throat> we're kind of stuck with the speedometer that's on this, being that the whole bezel is one piece. Unless we decide to try and tear it apart. Which we could potentially get a different gauge behind here. Right. I mean, if you're super careful about cutting this case here and back here, you can eliminate this half of it. Yeah. You or, could. well, I mean, that half. Right. I mean, I was thinking if we had to, we could pull this whole section out and put whatever we want in there. Oh, you, you know what would fit there? Like a temp gauge or something that actually reads or a number. Or another speedo. Or another speedo. Get, like, some 
one that's actually adjustable. Right. But we'll see. That is not uh, even close to our biggest problem right now. No, that's true. Drop and shift. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Decisions and things are being made right now. We have our wiring harness kind of laid out on the bench here, and we're sort of deciding, well, sort of thinking about where things are going to go, what will need to be extended. Um, being that the, the harness was actually wrapped around the chassis a couple times, um, some stuff is actually already long enough. There's only a few circuits you might have to extend and figure out, but still a little bit, uh, you know, challenging, I guess. We'll have to figure out the start switch uh, because that has this one. <clears throat> that has something in there for what is probably to make sure that the clutch is pushed in and possibly that it's in neutral uh, before you even start it. So we got to look into that if we want to change this button. Which we're having issues with this button anyway. It's well. It's possible there's a ground tab on there that was being grounded through the chassis because no, it would it would work when it was held onto the handlebar, but if you held it in your hand, it wouldn't do anything. All right. So just in general, that switch isn't really going to be right. useful to us. The other thing we may be able to do is maybe we can jump out of the open. Who knows? We'll have to look at the wiring diagram for that figure out what those go to. What else? What's all this? These are all lights, so that's nice. We don't have to really care about this for a while. We may end up using the wiring harness for the lights at some point. Well, if we want to make it street legal, of course. Well, good, <laughs> good, good luck in Massachusetts, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, for haha's, if we do end up doing that, we'll just leave it there so we can use in the future if we decide to. Things are moving along. There's paint all over the frame. The carburetor is back on the engine. Um, and our the throttle is all and, over the place. Yeah, the wiring's kind of all over there. Uh, throttle and choke are right here. They actually are almost able to reach where they need to be. Just short enough to be in the ass. Correct. The choke is probably completely fine because uh, we can mount it somewhere that on the floor next to the shifter, which the shifter will end up being on the floor somewhere right here. So it's not the end of the world to mount the choke right there. Throttle, however, is just short enough to be a dick. <clears throat> Wiring decisions are being made. Temporarily, the tack can go right there. Uh, that looks like it slips in there. <laughs> that wiring over there, it's okay. The wiring can go across the floor right there and that can just get dropped into a plate. Battery so basically, we're just trying to figure out what needs to be extended and what doesn't. Right. Um, so I'm going for general ballpark areas. Oh, that's what we call this? Yeah. Just, <laughs> just to figure out what's good where it is. Like this looks like it's probably going to be long enough because uh, that's going to end up being a little bit lower. All that will be a little bit lower. So we can run a long frame rail here. And then we'll probably mount the confuser. And this near the battery area. The confuser and the confuser helper. Yeah, this looks, maybe this is a rectifier. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It does things. It confuses as as it things. It continues to do things. That's fine. Uh, starter. Where's the starter? I think it's on the front. Potentially. On that side, maybe? That's where the filter is, the oil filter. We've got a battery cable. Uh, maybe it's on the back then. Alright, as usual, make sure you give the video a like, uh, leave a comment. Um, like our Facebook page, the link is in the description. Um, as usual, we'll pick right up where we left off, where we start doing some more wiring stuff, and then we gotta hook up some throttle and some choke levers and all that good stuff like that. Get out there and do something.